Uh, our next witness is Radia Almuta Wakil. I hope I'm close to pronouncing that correctly. It's correct. Members of the Senate Judiciary Committee, thank you for inviting me to speak with you today. My name is Radia Mutawakil. I'm joining from Yemen, my country that is known today as the worst humanitarian man-made crisis in the world. I am the chairperson of Muwatana for Human Rights. We are more than 100 men and women working all over Yemen, including documenting human rights abuses by all parties to the ongoing conflict. In addition to all dangers that Yemenis are facing today, from Saudi and Emirati led coalition airstrikes to indiscriminate chilling by Ansarullah to starvation, Yemenis continue to face the risk that the United States will carry out attacks that harm their loved ones in the name of countering terror. Today, I would like to share with you the impact of these attacks through the eyes of myself and my team. I first documented the devastating civilian consequences of US operations in Yemen back in 2013. Abdul Rashid al faqih the executive director of Muatana, and I documented nine US attacks that killed 26 civilians and injured 13 civilians between 2020, uh, 2012 and 2014. At that time, I remember a father of whose civilian son was killed by a US strike told us, they just kill. They don't know what havoc their missiles have caused. They are unaware of the suffering they create for our families. Almost 10 years later, Another father of another civilian killed by the U.S. in Yemen told Muatana's researcher, we tried more than once to make our voice heard, asking the U.S. to come and check, but nobody wanted to hear us. Last year, Muatana published a new investigation into U.S. level operations in Yemen. Our researchers interviewed 96, witness, uh, 96 witnesses, survivors, and family members. They collected photographs videos, medical records, and government documents. We found that 12 U.S. operations killed at least 38 civilians, including 13 children, and caused other types of grave and long-lasting harm between 2017 and 2019. In an effort uh, to seek justice, Muadana, along with the Columbia Law School Human Rights Clinic, sent more than 150 pages of, of evidence highlighting the civilian impact of U.S. attacks to U.S. Uh, Central Command. U.S. Central Command's response, response uh, which came many months after our submission, were completely insufficient. Out of all the civilian harm Watana documented, U.S. Central Command only acknowledged uh, one new civilian casualty. The U.S. military did not identify the civilian uh, by name, but we knew who it was. Salah al qaisi a father of six children, and was killed while visiting home. It is hard to know uh, what would ever be enough to convince the U.S. military to address the civilian harm it has caused in places like Yemen. Our researchers spent years gathering evidence in remote areas facing significant risk after all that, the U.S. military dismissed most of the cases and refused to provide any remedies or accountability whatsoever. After we heard from the U.S. military, we called the families of the victims. We heard the disappointment in their voices. We had to, uh, we had to tell Salah al qaisi son uh, that uh, while the U.S. acknowledged that his father was a civilian, they would uh, do nothing about it no public apology, no reparations, and no justice. U.S. attacks in Yemen, drone strikes, or ground raids have led to more poverty in some of the poorest areas in Yemen. These areas don't have hospitals or proper schools. Many don't have even electricity or regular uh, access to, to water. And they have asked, what, what, is, what, what is it uh, that the U.S. can reach us with the most advanced military technology before even electric cables can reach us. The impact of U.S. attacks is more than numbers uh, can show. There are painful pictures that will flash before my eyes and the eyes of my team for the rest of our lives. A grandmother fainting after seeing the body of her 17-year-old uh, grandson, an adult son gathering his mother's remains 
while a husband rushed to get his pregnant wife to the hospital watching her die. A mother found dead clutching her child. Another mother finding her 14-year-old son body on fire. In almost all the interviews conducted by Muwatana victims and their families have called for investigations and accountability. They are still waiting. Regardless of which president or party has controlled the White House, the United States has never fully investigated the civilian cost of its operations in Yemen and has never provided civilian victims the acknowledgement, apology, justice, and reparations they are owed. 20 years after the U.S. began its secret and unaccountable killing in Yemen, the U.S. should, at long last, change towards a rights-respecting course. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for your testimony.